Good morning. It's pretty early, but I wanted to come down here and take a peek at the sky. It's amazing. My camera probably doesn't do it justice. It is gorgeous. Alright, so I've got a little bit of a project today. So, we put this in last night. Um, we've not got the pump figured out yet, but that's just because we couldn't get the hose to work. Um, I'm going back up to the aquarium today to get that figured out. Um, but in the meantime, so my tub settled a little bit and this back corner was not level. So I really wanted it level. So I thought I'm gonna drain the water out, but I'm not gonna waste it. So I'm gonna get me a pump and drain it into an extra um, tub, which is good to have a backup. So I thought, well, I'll buy a backup because these weren't too expensive. So I bought a backup, I'll keep in my basement and I'm gonna drain this out, level it up again and put that same water back in here. And if for future issues and I need to you know, drain it out again or move the water over and clean it out, I'll have a spare tub and a pump to do it. But it's super easy. Like I literally got this little pump at Harbor Freight. I put my pond water in here, I've cleaned it out, and I'm going to level it up really good again and transfer the water back in here. So, yeah, it's been a project, but hey, sometimes that just happens. Here comes the leveling crew. Alright, we finally got it leveled. It was not the funnest part of the job but we're filling the water back up. I got a heater today. Um, the goldfish, she said, don't necessarily need a heater, but if I put anything else in here, it will. So I went ahead and got one. Um, plus I didn't want to drop goldfish into this super cold water. <laughs> I don't know, it just seemed like it would be a little much. I'm sure they'd be fine, but mine are a little spoiled. So uh, I got my fish catcher over here. They're running from us. We've got a few in here though. Oh, that took longer than expected. <laughs> gonna let them acclimate. We're gonna release the fish tonight. It's dark, so it's not gonna be a great reveal. We'll get back to it in the morning when it gets brighter and I have more sleep. <laughs> it's a big sea. All right, it's early morning. I'm coming to check my fish. It's pouring rain. Are expected to have flash flooding and possibly end in freezing rain in tomorrow. So, yeah, it's gonna be a wet day. I see him. <laughs> it's still kind of dark, really, not a lot of light out yet. Good morning. I'm out getting some fish because I put those little ones I had in my pond and it looked so lonely. They were like in this vast amount of water and <laughs> they needed some friends, but I didn't find a whole lot today because I didn't go too far, but I got some more of the little goldfish like I've got and a couple of koi. So when I get home, I'll put those in. I'm also gonna stop at the garden supply place and they said it helped me get some plants to go in there. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I am done here at Innovative Garden Supply, and the lady over here helped me get some stuff from my pond. Check it out. So this is a lily, and it is blooming. And she said it will do great in my greenhouse. It will love the direct sun and the warm pond um, you can set this down in the pond to about right here where the soil line starts and just leave it and i got a ginger which it smells so good in here it's almost like cinnamon and i also got some floating plants as well and they're over here so i need to get home i got my fish and get this set up i'm gonna have to make like a little shelf in there to get it on but we're gonna 
We're gonna get it looking good. All right, see you guys. And in these a bit. can go in the water all the way to the soil line, so they stick out of the water. <laughs> Hang the fish over the side and acclimate them. So these will multiply very quickly, she said. Water hyacinth. Got three of these. They're gonna be floating. It's got a lot of pressure coming through it. All right, we're gonna float the fish for a little bit, let them acclimate to the water, because my water is much warmer than the water at the fish store. We're gonna release the fish, and then we're gonna work on the plants. I still need more. I'm in search of some really cool goldfish. Ranchu. Ranchu and lion chew um, are some ones we're looking for. They're real fat and adorable. All right, it's looking better. That one's sticking up out of the water. It's tricky learning how to do this stuff, but I put some river rock down in there too. I don't know, maybe some more would look good. So I think this is as far as I'm going to go today on this pond. Um, I really am pleased with the new plants. They look really good. And I do need some more fish. I like that koi fish. He's easier to see in there. So I'm going to hunt for some bigger fish. I'm on the hunt for some green, um, I'm on the hunt for some goldfish. I think that I'm looking for ranchu and lion chew goldfish. I found some. I saw some on the internet that I really liked. They were pretty cool. Um, I may do some different things down in the pond. I'm still learning on how to make a shelf and set things up. Um, like I said, the lighting I think will help being able to visually see. It's a super cloudy, overcast, rainy day. So, you know, it's not as easy to see <clears throat> in the pond, but not too difficult. And then if I need to put like a shade cloth up to kind of help with reflection, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. But this plant is a full sun. It, it, it'll like it here. She said this one will do really good here too. Maybe in the very hot part of the summer, I might shade it a little bit. I don't know. We'll see.